Question 2. How effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary texts? Immediately when constructing my ancillary text, which came in the form of a digipack and an advertisement, I, re I realised that I wanted them all to contain elements from one style and theme, and feature heavy elements as shown in the video. From the out, I wanted an to incorporate stills, logos and visual elements as seen in the video in all our in in ancillary texts. I began about doing this by immediately replacing the M as seen in the background of the elements of our video that included live performance and creating a logo of the title of the song using other elements of the word maroon constructed by fans and used this for a front cover of our digipack. I then also used the band logo Maroon 5, however I removed the M and edited it on our own making it a unique piece. Of these two titles I placed at the side and the bottom, soon after this I screen grabbed stills of the videos including important visual elements seen in the video, such as the thematic writing and parts of both the stop motion and the performance. I discovered four was enough to create the right hand side edge. Eventually I placed all three of these items to, to form a sort of border around the edge of my front cover and ditch pack and I was pleased I had taken aspects of all conventions I in I intended to use and actually use them. I included video content, content uh, stills, themes, logos and some creative text. However, I then saw a problem. I had included all my elements and still had some space to fill. Furthermore, I realised I was making a, missing a key element, and as, as seen in quite a few Maroon 5 posters, DVDs and CDs. As well as, as featuring in most pop music covers, I was missing a sort of band identity. Seen in most of Maroon 5 CD covers, large images of the band dominate the front. For example, Must Get Out. It won't be soon before long, and Call and Response all feature this. I felt, however, that I had already included enough video content, and did not want to include another still from the video as this might seem repetitive and boring. I came up to, with a solution to this and it came in the form of an original picture taken specifically for this purpose. David and myself went to the pier at night taking a few extras with us for the picture. We used a high angle to capture the, uh, the photo with a strong flash. We also had our extras walk behind us in order for it to seem like we were, we were stood still in a world that was moving, essentially making us stand out. This took a few times however, eventually we had a successful shot and were quite pleased with it. I then placed a shot on the computer and edited it in the front cover. By keying up the lighting and blurring the extras a little more, I was able to make the picture look entirely more dramatic and I believed it was rather effective, original and also in keeping with the conventions of our video. The band we in imitated and the overall genre. On a little note, I had tried editing the stills so that my, myself and David were smudged at the edges, giving it the impression we were moving, yet stood still. However, after receiving feedback from many saying they preferred the original style of the still, I removed this effect. From then on, the digipack became rather easy. I created yet another custom logo for the back of the digipack, added misrelated emoticons and the appropriate writing and barcode. I did not feel like I had to include many more of the conventions I had earlier discussed for the simple fact that they were already featured so heavily on the outside upon the front cover. However, when moving on to the inside of my digipack, I realised I again could include all of these conventions. Moreover, I could include a lyrics booklet to make it seem more realistic. I immediately began on the lyrics booklet. I found an, an appropriate romantic style font, as seen on the back cover, and tied the lyrics into the left-hand side, making sure the spacing and size fit in the conventions of the other lyric books I had looked at from my collection of CDs. I then added in the band logo for Misery and a few stills from the video. I then realised I could have fit in another convention for my video, the recording session parts of our, of our music video were all shot in black and white, as we discovered this effect to be quite attractive to the watcher in our film Noir AS coursework. I replicated this effect and grayscaled some of the stills from our music video and also of our unique front cover shot and placed them appropriately into the lyrics booklet. Finally, with a little space left over, I typed lyrics and love Adam. The reason I did this is because, and I'm sure you will agree, Adam Levine, the lead singer of Maroon 5, is quite heavily focused on in practically every aspect of Maroon 5's advertising. Indeed, Misery is, in, is filmed nearly entirely with him and barely any glimpses of any other band members are seen. 
and one of the more liberal covers for Hands All Over is Adam Levine wearing nothing. This use of style icons seems to show that Maroon 5's fan base is heavily in interested in Adam. I use this to, to my advantage as it seems a much more personal touch to the fan if says Love Adam and would make it the product so much more enjoyable, also making our product seem a lot more authentic. Finally, I moved on to our last element of the digipack, the CD itself. I realised immediately this had to be as simple as most of the CD cases and are, are from what I've seen. I decided to keep this one quite minimalistic, uh, using the, the thematic writing seen in other parts of the digipack. Our standard M logo and the band's misery logo. After doing the digipack, I had to begin thinking about my other ancillary texts, of which I chose to do in the form of an advert for, uh, for a live performance of the band. I decided to keep this rather simple, much like I had with my own CD. The reason for this being that in most of it, you will usually see little or large text with a great deal of pi pi um, pictorial visual elements which are widely seen in the advertisement business as most effective way to capture potential purchasers' attention for long enough to get them interested into the product. In this case, the live performance of the band Misery. The advertisement is trying to sell. Initially, I was unsure of how to proceed, so I began with an element I was already adept at incorporating into the ancillary text, the logo. I used the logo Misery, as I had been using earlier. However, I edited out all the background imaging, leaving only the writing itself, and placed this in large capitals at the top of my advertisement thus in keeping with the convention of the large letters capture attention as widely used in advertising. I then in some photos and stills I then added in some photos and stills I had used in lyrics sheet on my digipack. I did this in order to make it obvious that these two products were of the same style and line. I then keyed out all of the colour in these pictures and after discerning it looked rather grey with some input from other class members, I was advised into adding more in. And I took this advice even further by completely making the background up of the sort of collage of uh, various pictures incorporating the theme of my chosen band. My digipack and the rest of my ancillary text, I took pictures from all aspects of my coursework, from the video shot itself within, with, with scenes both in and not in the video. Some of my digipack and a few from shots and pictures I had taken outside the parameters of my video. Finally, I added in small text the date of the performance, the place how to the place and how to get the tickets. Essentially, all relevant information which, with no waffle, as in keeping with the conventions of my modern day advertising in today's no time world. Yeah. Yeah.